How's it going? So, I had this knife. It was really cool, like a spring assist. Um, just a little kind of weird blade, like they cut the end of it off. Uh, I don't know. It was cool. It was quick. It flicked open real quick. Um, but I left it at work one day, and somebody played with it. Something, something broke it. Uh, somebody tried to fix it. it. It flicks open now, but it's just not how it was. So I decided I'd get myself a new knife. It's about time. You know, my old uh, M16 is kind of, I don't use that anymore because I lost so many screws out of it. And, you know, the spring assist broke and I had a really nice spring assist karambit. That was sweet. But I left it in my pocket and it went through the wash and didn't hold up so well. So I ordered a couple knives. Uh, one of them was a Boker Magnum double edge two tone. The picture made it look smaller than it was. It came and it, it was like this ginormous knife. I, I'm not going to keep it. I'm probably going to send it back. Traded in for something else. Uh, but the other knife I got was a Titan out the front uh, dual action uh, automatic knife. Uh, this. I got it in tan. Uh, so it matches, you know, most of what I wear and I, my AR is tan. Uh, I kind of like the desert tan color. It's it's not black, but it's not white. It's, you know, kind of dirty, but eh, whatever. Um, but so this knife, um, I recommend it. This is a really cool little knife. Uh, right away, first thing I noticed was how this belt clip attaches is like with a nut. It's not the little tiny screws. And there's like normally knives have like the three little screws or whatever. I hate that. They fall out. I lose the clip or the clip bends or something. This is a really nice clip. And I'll tell you, okay, this is a $40 knife. But that clip right there, I think that that made it worth, even if it wasn't as cool as it was already, uh, that made it worth its money right there. Just the, the design of that clip. More companies need to do that. that I, I can't stand a flimsy belt clip because, you know, they fall off and then you're your knife is just floating around and you grab it you don't know which which way it's going to come out of your pocket you know that's that's why i like uh i like the belt clip i like this design it looks uh i can't imagine um getting that loose not on purpose so after lock tightening everything on here this knife's going to be great um this here the grip um i was a skater as a kid a skateboarder so i can tell you that's that's skateboard grip tape right there um, it's a little bit rough. Um, you could probably, you know, file, file your nails on it or whatever, but, um, it's really good grip, uh, because, uh, this knife seems to have a kind of a hard push on it. Like you have to have intent. Like I can push it up that much. That's just tensioning the spring in there, but to actually pop it, it takes a little bit of effort, but, uh, for a knife that does that, do that a few more times. That's really fun. Huh? 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 Yeah. So, so for a knife that does that for forty bucks, um, pretty well made. I mean, the, the the case here is a nice solid material. Um, yeah, it's aluminum. Definitely aluminum. Uh, it's, I, I couldn't tell if it was a poly or not, but uh, nice aluminum. Really good belt clip. This is the Titan out the front. I went with the double-edged and double serrated blade. Um, if you see right there, there's like, I don't know, it looks like a dark spot. If I can get the light in there right, you can see. But uh, that little pit there, it looks like maybe it wasn't supposed to be there. Somebody overstepped with the tool. But uh, is it a big deal? Not really. Because out the front, springs pretty well. Um, I've, uh, I've stabbed, um, a box full of paperwork and it didn't give up on me. So I think it will be, uh, pretty good. Like if I have to use it, uh, a good slasher because of the serration and the double, the double tip, but a stabber too. Um, just hoping that the mechanism that locks the knife open isn't, uh, you know, too shabby. But, uh, you know, you never know unless you have to stab, you know, a wall or something and you'll find out. Uh, but uh, all in all, for, you know, $40 out the front dual action knife, uh, I can't complain. Um, you know, that uh, Boker Magnum, though, uh, I can't recommend that. It's really big, really bulky, 
didn't uh, really represent itself well in pictures. And the one I got actually didn't spring open all the way. You, you know, you're, you, when you flick a spring assist, you expect it to be like, open, right? So it, open. Well, this one's kind of, you flick it and it goes, and it's just kind of, you know, not quite, not quite. Like I can flick it while flicking the, the, the side of it and get it to lock open, but I shouldn't have to do that. So instead, send it back, maybe get some little push daggers and rock this super cool uh, out the front knife that, um, God, it's got to be the coolest knife design ever. I mean, that's better than a butterfly knife. I love it. So uh, yeah, buy some of these, um, play with them, drive somebody crazy, clicking, clicking, click, clicking, you know, because that, that clicking, I'm going to spend more time doing that than I am working.